Oh my god, Natalie, your lighting is so bright today. Yeah, I know. You know why? Because last time, as in, in my last video, which will be in the description bar down below, uh, I put a white shirt over this light that's right here. It's very bright, as you can tell, and uh, therefore it's very hot. So um, I burned the shirt from where it was touching the light. I'm going to put the shirt back on, just so you don't have to withstand this, but know that if you start seeing smoke, it's your fault. I'm just saying. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my wash and go for my curly hair routine. It starts right now, which is 8.08, great, 8.08 the night before I plan on washing my hair. I don't wash my hair at night because it looks gross when you sleep on it wet. Be realistic. I have soaked my hair. I kind of got under the water and just dunked my head in about an hour ago and now it is sufficiently damp but not dripping obviously. I'm gonna start off with an oil treatment because that is what I feel so inclined to do. So um, let's talk about it while I put it on my head, right? So this is a blend that I kind of mixed up myself. Um, of jojoba oil, peppermint essential oil, coconut oil, Jamaican black castor oil. I might have put some olive oil on here. I'm not entirely certain anymore. It's been a while. Um, I do have to mix up a new one, so I do plan on making a video when I finally do that. So, but for now, uh, I have it in this bottle that the jojoba oil itself came in because it has a dropper and that makes it very easy to just suck it up out of the bottle and then insert it <laughs> into my scalp. Give myself a good serving and then just shake it up around my scalp. And I kind of sit here and I just give myself a nice little massage for a while. Y'all know how it is. So this is really, really great because castor oil is really great for making your hair grow. Peppermint oil also stimulates the scalp, which will help to make your hair grow. Coconut oil has a real good amount of protein, which is gonna help strengthen your hair, and healthy hair grows. And I'm also using jojoba oil because it is the closest in chemical structure to sebum, which is the oil that your skin makes naturally to moisturize itself, including on your scalp. So this is basically what I do, and then once I'm done massaging my scalp, I take coconut oil, because coconut oil, again, is really nice and strengthening. I obviously have bleached hair, um, and I do have a lot of heat damage still because I did used to straighten my hair a lot, and though, although I have cut it since then, um, there's definitely still some damage on my hands, and especially from, you know, coloring will definitely damage your hair. So my curl pattern is not really what it used to be, sadly. But um, within the last couple of years, I've actually mostly like the last year, <laughs> I've been trying to get to know my hair, trying to go natural. And I definitely have seen a difference in the health of my hair, a difference in the texture of my hair, a difference in the appearance of my hair. And you know, it always feels nice to see that progress and to start getting more and more confident in my hair. I wear it natural most days. Making sure that all of my hair is nicely coated. And the way, the reason that I like to put in um, water first is just because I feel like oil penetrates my hair better when my hair is wet. I don't know if that's just me, but I feel like it does. Like when I'm styling, I feel like if I put in oil when my hair is dry, my hair doesn't feel as moisturized as when I put oil in when my hair is still wet. So, I kind of just use that same principle for when I am doing a deep oil treatment. Like that. I am going to leave this in overnight and then I i don't need to show you how to shampoo. I know you know how to shampoo. Um, I'm going to be using the Organics Hydrating Tea Tree Mint Shampoo. It's a really great shampoo, it's sulfate free so it's good for curly hair and it's nice and cleansing without being stripping. And it smells so good. Don't shampoo your ends, only shampoo your roots. 
because that is going to make sure that your hair is just getting clean from the scalp and then when you rinse out the shampoo and it runs down the rest of your hair any excess oils will be cleaned and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys how I deep condition with a nice mask all right good night guys see you in a bit good morning it's about 11 11 30 the next day um, I have showered I have shampooed and now I'm going to show you guys how I deep condition and detangle because I do detangle while conditioners in my hair. For deep conditioner, I use the Ren Pure Coconut Cream Deep Conditioner. Um, it's a deep treatment mask. It is really awesome as far as the ingredients. It's nice and natural and that's what I like for my hair is just really pure ingredients. I'm going to take big scoops of this. It smells amazing. I'm going to take scoops of this. And uh, my hair is wet, but it's not dripping anymore. And when I deep condition in the shower, I usually do deep condition in the shower, but I wanted to show you guys this. Um, I will typically squeeze my hair out quite a bit so that there's n like not a lot of excess water before I deep condition because I feel like it kind of just blocks a lot of the deep conditioner from getting in when your hair is just super super wet. I'm making sure that I evenly distribute it into the areas I really need it. This back part of my hair right here tends to get quite tangled so I do make sure that I give that lots and lots of moisture as well as this under part of my hair right here. I do all of that and I kind of massage it into my ends to make sure that I'm giving my hair lots and lots of moisture. Uh, wide tooth comb. This is like a con air comb. I'm using a wide tooth comb to detangle because it's nice and gentle. You can use your fingers. You can use a regular comb if you're about that rebel life. I won't judge you. For the most part, you do want to kind of start by combing the ends of your hair and then, you know, slowly working your way upwards. So let's see that now I can comb my fingers completely through my hair. I feel absolutely no knots. I like to go in with my fingers and just feel because then I can kind of feel where knots are and if there are none left, then I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this in my hair for, I don't know, half an hour, an hour. I'll come back and tell you how long it has been and then I will show you how I style. Alright, see you in a minute. All right, we are back. Um, my hair is in a microfiber towel right now. I rinsed out the deep conditioner for my hair maybe 15 to 20 minutes ago and I've just been letting my hair sit into this towel so that all the excess water can be soaked up because I don't like my hair to be dripping wet when I put in product. I just feel like it makes my hair take longer to dry like afterwards. I like to keep it really simple with what I use in my hair, especially in the summer. So I'm just using this Garnier Fructis Curl Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner Cream. Um, I've been using this for about a year and I do think that it works really well for my hair. Um, so that's pretty much it. And then I put a good generous amount of this in. All throughout my ends and I also bring it up especially in the front of my hair and in that area where I told you my hair gets very naughty so I put this all throughout my hair quite generously I find that if I put in more product I get kind of chunkier curls and if I put in less product I get smaller um, more stringy curls like it's more my hair is more separated I really just listen to my hair some days my hair feels more dry some days it feels better um, but I told you guys I just went to Six Flags so um, I had chlorine in my hair very recently so my hair does not like that when my hair dries I want it to shiny and soft and I don't want a bunch of tangles okay after all of the leave-in that I'm gonna put is in my hair I just shake up my roots for a bit for a while just going in every direction just shaking them up kind of just breaking up any chunks 
any hair that's clumping together in my roots, I just go ahead and I separate it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my microfiber towel, which was soaking up the moisture in my hair before. And I'm just gonna use this to scrunch for a little bit, just to get out excess product and to get out excess water. All right, I'm gonna let my hair dry and I will come back and show you the finished result. Final result for my hair. It is shiny, moisturized, frizz free, silky, smells <sighs> delicious. <laughs> uh, I really love the way that my hair turned out. Obviously, this is first day hair though, so it's not as voluminous as it will be as days go on. Um, my co washing routine will come eventually. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks!